Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how I can uh, how I'll be making a lotus shaped pendant using this uh, simple paper cutout. Now what I have done over here is uh, if you can clearly see uh, I have drawn out the the shape um, and you can use a paper which is slightly thick preferably um, the invitation cards, uh, you know, that kind of thickness would probably be ideal for something like this, just so that it's, it's a little, uh, you know, it's not too flimsy, basically. And it can be used, uh, you know, to kind of put it sit stable and you're able to cut out like this. But remember, when you choose um, the drawings or whatever figure that you want to kind of draw on this, uh, you only get the outline. So what I mean here is I've obviously drawn the inner part of it and I'm confident of drawing this part which is why I've chosen this um, and I, all that I get is basically the outline. So a lot of times what happens is you'll end up, you can, if you're not good at drawing, you can also take a printout of this but the drawback, the, uh, the, the uh, you know, the, what, what happens there is that you won't be able to, if you're not confident of drawing, you won't be able to draw what is actually inside. Uh, so, you know, choose only what you're comfortable doing. So in this case, uh, you know, I would place it like this. The slab over here is roughly about 0. Um, about 0. 0.5 centimeters in thickness. Uh, I have smoothened it out using a knife. And, uh, you know, I've just kept it all ready for this. This paper cutout has been very neatly trimmed at the edges and I use this multiple times. Um, so, like I said, I would probably show you how this is done and remember that you'll only get an outline. It's only the outer side of it. The rest of the drawing happens, uh, you know, with, I, I, I use a, a refill or you can also use a, a needle tool in order to get that going. So a needle tool is this. This is a needle tool. Um, you know, you can basically use this or you can also use uh, just a refill in order to draw it out. Whatever you're comfortable, you know, if you if you don't really want to go ahead and buy something like this, you, know, you can feel free to use the nib of a refill also. Works perfectly fine. Uh, I'm using an exacto over here. It just gives me very sharp, precise cuts, and it's always straight. And I, I always tend to, uh, you know, I don't go continuously in one go. I try to uh, take out some bits of excess clay right away, so that I'm not handling a very big piece altogether. So if you see, I'm constantly cleaning the tip of my blade just so that I get very very clean crisp cuts so at this stage if this is very flimsy there is a good chance that you may not get a very good outline so which is why I said it's better to use um, something like a something that is as thick as an invitation or a greeting card that is you know not being used or be slow with this process don't rush through because this is your basic outline you don't want to mess it up Make sure this is always being held, which is probably why in certain angles you won't be able to see it. But sorry about that, but you know, something that I can't help. <laughs> Gives me very very clean crisp cuts so you know this makes my job a lot easier take out the excess bits of clay <clears throat> gently remove it and you'll see that it's it's got a good clean finish 
lift it up slowly because you know because of the moisture over here there's a good chance that it might just you know it might kind of stick a little bit but it's not going to be impossible for you to remove or something like that so don't worry about it um, what I'm gonna do now is I'll just shape in every leaf rather every petal kind of gently and if you see anything excess sticking out from anywhere just just remove it off it just has to be neat and tidy that's why I just lightly moistened my hand that's all this is a small texture from this particular sheet that's come on to this so I'm just trying to get rid of that So if you see, I'm just gently bending the tip, trying to make it look a little bit more original, like a, um, you know, like how a flower would be. I'll just smoothen it out. So once that's done, once that is done you can use anything like a refill or again like I said a, a needle tool so maybe I have you've already seen me use an, a, a refill several times so this time let me show you uh, how I would work with a needle tool now remember this is what I'm trying to replicate right so I would firstly draw out the line in the center because that's how I need it to be right because that's how I, I want it to be so I have a marking there the next thing that I would do is th this petal these two ends which is over here I would mark that over here as well and I would draw a very very light line just so that oops sorry sorry about that okay so yeah I would just mark a very very light line this is only as a reference so that I know where this particular uh, line of this petal has to end otherwise I might I might go a little off center and that may not really look very good so just be neat be slow it's okay it's not going to you know dry off that quickly so don't worry about it because once the design is on uh, you know you you really can't do much about it you know so it's better that you start off really neat and tidy I would do this like I don't know how many times uh, you know I would constantly keep smoothening my surf the surface of the piece uh, just so that I, at no point in time do I feel that you know it's kind of going away I'm just checking the edges and seeing if there's anything more that needs to be done actually there is see if you see these corners I would prefer it to be much more smoother so I would just use my needle tool and just gently smoothen the edges rather these corners all of them all the corners okay this is all nice and neat so once that is done okay I'm back to again smoothening <laughs> Once that's done we begin to work so the line ends roughly over here that's the that's the center uh, marking for my line here so I would use my needle tool and I would never go straight because I don't want clay piercing out I just needed to kind of you know make I just want to make a depressed line a line which has just a, a bit of a uh, you know a press through uh, in this manner so it's always held at an angle for me and then I would this way that's it 
so if you see there is actually no clay that's that's out uh, it, it makes it a lot more easier and neater if it's just held in this manner so I have my I have one uh, petal that is that is that is seen you'll see how I get the rest of them at every after drawing every every uh, every line just just clean the tip almost comes habitually Once that's done Remember that, you know, I, I told you in the beginning of the video that if you are not confident of drawing the center, you may want to think twice about um, what shape you are planning to draw. So if you after, remember that this helped me get only the outer, the outline of the entire piece, it did not help me get these lines in the center. And uh, because I was confident of drawing the lines in the center, I chose this particular um, uh, drawing. So choose uh, what you want to draw wisely. Uh, you know, some some things uh, might look really nice, but uh, only when you do it, you'll understand that it, it it's actually um, much harder than it actually looks. So there you go. Now, obviously, to this you can you know you can obviously add whatever designs you want, or uh, say if I want to add something like this, just like a petal kind of a design here in the center I would do something like that I'll probably do something just like that you know just a little additional design of my own this is I, I wouldn't say this is very uh, necessary uh, you know but it's a good tool it's a great one if you are even working on slabs. So I have something like this that's just that's just done. Quite nice, quite simple and you know nothing too complicated. I just give it a little bit of a bend. Just make sure these uh, the, the tip is all well finished off because what happens is even though you're using an exacto, you do get very good cuts, no doubt. But uh, they they end up being so sharp, you you know they might go a little distorted uh, while handling the clay. So just make it give it its um, you know beautiful floral kind of a. In shape and um, obviously to this you can choose to add um, well add um, add obviously the u pins so in this case i would add the u pins on the two sides like this one here and one over here you can obviously add it on um, these two uh, places as well in these two petals as well somehow holding it a petal of this uh, this design that's this wide uh, is better that it has a two U pins rather than one um, just so that it is well balanced because when it when you put a U pin in the center there's a good chance that it might just wobble when it is worn and it won't um, it won't stay uh, stable uh, so this kind of helps it um, you know helps it look better and just makes it makes it look more more nice so yep and you can obviously add uh, U pins or gunguru beads or anything that you like to this particular design you can add uh, beads here um, you can add more designs over here if you please you know feel free to do that so that's it um, using very these kinds of paper cutouts are, are a big help um, they they genuinely help with um, you know getting shapes that you don't have ready-made um, um, that you don't find it uh, easily in the market so something like this really helps so I really hope you like the video everyone if yes, then uh, please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching everyone.